Hey guys, what's up? We are live here on Laser Everything uh, to support our friends Alex and Charles with Swassy. Their event is beginning in about 10 minutes here. Uh, I'm, I'm joined by Jimmy tonight, by the way. What's up, Jimmy? Hey, buddy. What's going on? So, um, yeah, we just, we're just trying to raise awareness. We just want to get people watching. We want to get people in front of the screen. Uh, we want to try to get everybody to uh, vote for Swassy that we can get to vote for Swassy because uh, these guys have worked really, really hard to get where they are right now. And we want to make sure that we as a community are doing uh, everything we can to support them. This is an easy thing that we can do is just watch this video, guys, and vote. Uh, it takes literally zero effort. And uh, so we're here. We're here doing it. We're supporting our friends. So, um, you know, if you're joining us tonight to do that, thank you so much for taking the time to be here with us. Jack's here. What's up, Jack? Welcome, man. And uh, let's see. We got a do we have a countdown over here? Yeah, we got about eight and a half minutes until this uh, live event starts. And uh, hey, love, welcome to the stream. Hey, Jack. Uh, Hi, love. How are we guys? I'm not entirely sure how we're going to vote. Uh, I, I don't know the, the particulars of it, so we're just going to have to watch. We're going to have to watch and pay attention um, to like screen prompts and things like that because I didn't get detailed instructions on how this is actually going to go down. Um, so we're just going to we're just going to watch and uh, hopefully, you know, things go things go pretty smooth uh, as far as the, the voting goes. Hopefully it's the right night, too. <laughs> I. Uh, you know, I, Alex, so right before this event, literally like this morning, like Alex was finishing his move from Canada to Atlanta, Georgia. Um, and then he like changed his clothes and he's like preparing to get on stage. So I haven't <clears throat> I haven't heard from him, but I'm fairly sure this is the, I'm fairly sure this is the right day. If it's not, I'm, I'm making a huge ass out of myself right now. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's that's kind of the deal, guys. We're just here. We're going to we're going to do our best to support our friends over at the LMA and uh and and help these guys get their project off the ground so that's the game plan uh love is asking if you have any crickets tonight jimmy you got any crickets tonight i uh, just got done thundering and ringing and they are really quiet right now last night we should have been on last night because we could have sang a song together oh nice nice man nice. they would not stop yeah well they're all gonna be dead soon so they're all the they're all gonna be dead soon trust me the first frost it's all over with and it's getting close right now Yep. True story. It's getting close. So um just a just a recap uh in case you guys missed it. Um Alex and Charles, I don't know if you guys have actually listened to the uh episode that released earlier today. Uh if you haven't, it's a good one. You can go back and listen to it after this event is over. But um Alex and Charles have been working on this new startup uh for a really long time. Uh Alex kind of you know essentially like gave up working on his thing solo so that he could join this project and, and be a big part of this project and uh so you know this is like a, a really big opportunity for them and uh so we're, we're doing our best to support them by voting for them in tonight's startup village challenge thing i guess everybody gets to pitch right and then they they take like a vote from online uh, so we just want to make sure that we're uh, we're doing what we can to to support them in that. So um, that's that's where we are at right now. We've got about five and a half minutes until the event goes live. What's up, Jimmy? How you doing, man? I'm doing great, kid. Yeah, <clears throat> getting ready to do my third video. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I had a good one last night. I did great. I was so proud of myself. Three hours. I went all the way through it. So nice. Yep. I want to I want to show this off really quick, guys. Burn to learn hoodie right here. Check that out. Yeah, you like that? Nice. It's pretty sick, dude. It, it came out pretty good. Nice. Strings were even, but yeah, this is the. Uh, I think this is the. Uh, let me see. Yeah, this is the contrast hoodie. It's really cool. Merch shop. Go check it out. Not right now. We're doing something right now, but later. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you got? You just wearing some red shirt today. Didn't I get you a bunch of shirts? Dude, I'm busy, man. I just oh, threw my hey. head up. Here we go. See? It was up and then it was all right. So let's here we go. So I'm gonna just I want to make sure that we we do this right. So we'll go ahead and blow this up here. Uh we are not going to have audio 
on this stream because we don't want to step on any toes. We don't want to like upset anybody copyright wise. So uh, we are going audio free on this one. But if you want to listen to the stream, the link is down in the description so that you can listen uh, and, and follow along and things like that. Um, so that's uh, that's that's kind of the, the deal as far as that goes. Uh, so again, we will not have um, we will not have audio from the stream. It's just going to be us, uh, kind of, kind of talking over it. Oh, good. I can make that go away. That was kind of in the way. Um, I may even open up a second copy of this so that I can hear it. And in fact, I don't think you guys can hear what's playing on my screen when it's playing. Maybe you can, I don't know. Hopefully not. So can you guys hear that? I Can you guys hear that? No. All right, good. No. All right, good, good, good. So I'm going to turn the volume up so that I can hear it, but you guys aren't going to be able to hear it. So again, if you want to, if you want to actually listen to this, uh, you can go ahead and click the link down in the description, so you can pull it up on your PC and uh, listen to it live from their stream. I'm not touching nothing, so I'm just going to sit here. I want to listen, but. <laughs> I'll tell you. Right. I'll, I'll right. keep you up to date. I'll keep you All up to right. date. I'm surprised Kyle's not here. I wonder what Kyle's doing right now. Oh, I can hear they're ushering people in. They're very excited. God, I want to watch too, damn it. <laughs> well, you are watching. I don't see a damn thing. Well, they aren't showing anything. I can just hear oh. the oh, I can hear right. the lady like ushering people in. All right. But yeah, we're just uh we're just hanging out, guys. We are at 727. We got about three minutes left. They'll probably start a little late just based on what I'm hearing. If they're still getting people seated, I would be surprised if they're starting on time, but it's okay. We can kill a couple extra minutes. Yeah. It's uh it's like funky it's like funky disco music. Funky donkey? It's pretty funky donkey, dude. <laughs> They're all getting the groove of the funky donkey scene. Yeah. Oh man, could you imagine just winning a million dollars? You they gonna find out today or when do they find well, out? So we'll know today if they make it into the finals. Oh, there's a final. Yeah, we gotta get. We're trying to get them into the finals right now, and then uh, the the like finals are next year. So we'll we'll do this again next year for them <laughs> when they okay. go to the finals, which is crazy, right? That's like a huge it's amount a whole of time. Year? It's a whole nother year. Holy crap! Yep, yep, a whole nother year. So uh, we are, you know, we're it's it's a it's gonna be a long fight for them, but. Um, you know, based on what Charles was telling me, there there aren't a lot of votes. There are not a lot of votes that go down. So if, you know, like if one person gets like 10 votes, maybe the winner got 15. Well, how many how many contestants are there? Uh, I, just a couple, I, I believe. It's just two. I don't I don't know if it's like actually literally two, but it's it's like a couple to a few. Oh yeah, there are not a lot, and uh, so it's going to be a very short thing. And uh, you know, like I said, the the difference in the number of votes between the winners and the losers could be like ten to fifteen votes, which is why I really wanted to get the Laser Everything community here to yeah. uh, to, to help support because we could easily turn the tide of this if we had a good turnout. You know, yeah. could easily easily turn the tide of this for these guys, uh, which is certainly what certainly what we want. So. I'm disappointed it's so early. We're kind of we're kind of missing the uh, the West Coast right now because it's four o'clock over there. But you know, there's still people at work and and what have you. But I don't get to set the time, guys. It's seven thirty now, so I'm assuming they'll be starting soonish.
Don't forget to smash the like button if you guys are joining us for today's live stream. Uh, engagement helps big time uh, in chat and uh, with the uh, the like or even, believe it or not, the dislike button. Uh, both both make a big difference uh, as far as how YouTube handles distributing live streams to people that may be uh, looking for content to watch. So definitely smash the like button if you haven't already. The music stopped. She says it's time. People are cheering. Oh, there she is. Oh, there she is. She says uh, she's here by herself. She's there by herself? Startup Village number 87. She's very excited. So it's five. five. There are five competitors, Jimmy. Five competitors. Yep, yep. She just said 87 times five competitors have gotten up on the stage. We vote for the winner at the end. Okay, they'll get... So, there, so it's not just nothing today. So tonight we can actually... If they win this one, they get a year at this place at the incubator and parking in like an office. Okay. She asked who's there for the first time. It's a lot of people. Love says, uh, as soon as I see Mrs. Laser everything, I remember to smash the like button. <laughs> Miranda's on him. <laughs> See, I can't see the YouTube part, so I don't know how many people even are here. Uh, this is an advertisement, maybe? Yeah, this sounds like an ad for Trans Transwestern. So yeah, these guys are like the sponsor of the show right now and they're just talking about their product which we don't particularly care about yeah. get to the main event it's alright we'll be patient yeah. it's 5577072 want you to recap what's going on here Um. so tonight Alex, uh, Alex Campbell, uh, Laser Source podcast veteran, and uh, his friend Charles, who's from the Discord and the LMA, are pitching their idea for their new startup company at a place called Atlanta Tech Village. And uh, so every year they have a semifinal and final round. And if you get invited, you get to pitch your idea for five minutes uh, uh, against four other competi like competing startups. And if yours wins... Uh, you get to go to the finals and they get a bunch, they get like an office space at this like incubator and parking and stuff. Uh, and then during the finals, if they win that one, they get a million bucks. So the, the, um, the, the first step, sorry, I'm trying to listen while she's talking to, um, the, the first step is to get them to the finals. And so that's why I asked you guys to uh, join me here tonight so that we can push them through to the finals, uh, or at least try. We want to try to help, uh, because both of these guys are LMA members. They've been LMA, LMA members for a really long time, uh, and, and they've, they've put a lot on the line for this project, and we want to support our fellow LMA members. So we want to make sure that we're doing everything we can to uh, support the people in our community. This is a really easy thing that we can do. We just show up. We watch and pitch. Uh, we wait until the end, apparently. We just learned that, and then uh, and then we vote. Uh, and hopefully we can get our guys through to the finals. So that's that's the hope here. Durango has a question for you, Alex. Um, yeah. We, so really quick, while um, Trans Western is still talking, uh, we can I can certainly try to to answer a quick question. Um, but I, I I am gonna have to listen a little bit so I can tell you guys what's going on in the stream as well uh, once that starts. So if you have a quick one, um, I'm, I, I can try to answer it really quick. 
Uh, they haven't said yet, uh, but we're gonna we're gonna find out. So uh, hopefully they will give us better instructions at the end. All they've said so far is that we vote at the end. Um, maybe there will be like a QR code, like the one on on screen to scan, or or a web address or something. Uh, but I I've not received explicit instructions yet. So we're gonna see. What's up, Pablo? Hey, Pablo. Duringo, what is your question, bud? What do you what do you would like to ask? Off top of that. No worries, kid. I don't know what this is. What's going on on screen right now? It's pretty crazy. Your fiber laser doesn't connect to EasyCAD. Um, so the quick things that you'll want to check are to make sure that you are... Uh, I'm going to mute this real quick while they're not talking about things that we care about. Um, so you want to make sure that you've got your drivers installed, first of all. There's 20 or 32 and 64-bit drivers. They're both available on our website at lasereverything.net slash downloads. So if you aren't using the right drivers, that will be the first issue. Uh, the second thing, you want to make sure that you are removing any uh, USB hubs, USB extenders, and swap out your USB cable if you haven't yet. Uh, to make sure that those things aren't causing problems. Because often uh, it's as simple as unplugging a crappy USB cord that came with the laser and plugging in a new one that you got off Amazon, and that'll fix the, the issue. Uh, so that'll be the other thing. Finally, uh, and this seems like a no-brainer, but make sure that your machine is plugged into the computer and powered on. Otherwise, it will not connect to EasyCAD. So you'll, you'll want to check those two. That's usually the blanket advice. Uh, that I give as far as that goes. How do you adjust node size in Inkscape for like a lattice deformation? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's a thing that you can do. Uh, I've not, I don't spend that much time in Inkscape if I'm being completely honest. So I'm not entirely sure. I wish I had a quick answer for you on that one, Pablo, but I, I don't have one off the top of my head. I would have to mess around with it a little bit. These guys are just playing with their little computer over here. What are they having tech problems? Oh, good God. For a million dollars, you think they get this straight, right? Yeah, you think their stupid MacBook <laughs> would work. Imagine. Come on. Oh, we got it. Look, thumbs up. Okay, hurry up. Get it done before it messes up again. <laughs> Somebody won. Somebody won a, a thing. Oh my God! A, a bottle of booze. Imagine all, all that for a bottle of booze. Yeah, get out of here. Jesus. Nobody Go cares. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nobody. Nobody cares. Give me a break. That's pathetic. That's embarrassing. All right, so she's she's saying that the main event is starting now. She's like talking about t-shirts and stuff. You oh, see this chick God. with the with the camera wandering yeah, around. Mia, what is her problem? <laughs> oh, no. She's got that expensive there that that hook thing, that handle thing to hold the camera. That's pretty cool. She's Looks asking like she's... she's asking the audience, "What is the craziest thing that happened to you this week?" And then if you tell her, I guess she's like, you get the t-shirt. This is uh this is weird, man. Yeah. For a million dollars, I'll give you this pink shirt. <laughs> Good 
God almighty. It's, oh. You know, this is hurting me. It's check hurting out the me. check out the nerds in the front row. <laughs> they're all excited. <laughs> oh boy, I get a shirt. Woo, 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 woo. You know, they're stoked. Come on. Hold on. This guy, so this guy was at a bar. He drank. A fight broke out. He helped in the fight. <laughs> oh, he helped stop the fight. Oh, there was Mexican gangsters. Good God almighty. So he got in a drunk fight with Mexican gangsters, Jesus. and then he didn't die. Oh, and then they gave, they gave him a T-shirt. Oh, my God. Is Mexican gangsters racist? Can you say that? I don't even know Mexican gang. I don't even know what that even means. Kind of a bad look. Gangster is a gangster, so it doesn't yeah. matter where you're at or what you are or what your nationality is. That's what I'm saying. Man, yes. Yeah, I feel sorry Football. for this lady. I feel sorry for the lady. She's I feel trying. Sorry. I think she's supposed no. to have. I think she's supposed to have backup. Yeah, I, I really, I'm feeling really bad for her right now, to be honest with you. Oh, look, oh I, here we go. We got, we're twins. Hey, did you get your same shorts, dude, the same place the, I got mine? The cargo shorts. I know. Well, I wear cargo shorts because I'm old. I really but, like the, the cargo shorts and polo combination. Yeah. It's like really strong right now. Dude, you didn't wear dark blue. I told you dark blue, not light blue. Come on, man. We got to look cool. Good point. Good Pinpoint. Oh, creepy. Oh, it's creepy. Dude. You, so you, you download this app and then you can see, you can see all of your friends and family on a map. You know what? Who gives a shit? Sorry. My bad. I'll, I'll it's fine. not even like, who cares? It's like, do you oh really want, God. do you really want everyone to know exactly <laughs> where you are every oh, second of the day? Good God almighty. This is this is killer. This is killer. They sh their pictures are like right out of their fucking high school yearbook, dude. <laughs> oh god, that makes it even worse. They're talking about their credentials. Oh, I, need, I need I need alcohol to watch this. Good god. Holy crap. Let's dive in. Yeah, dive right in there, buddy. So he's saying, so he's saying, because people always tell people where they're at, why why write it in words when you could just be on a social network where it just shows you where everybody is all the time? Oh my god. I watch too many movies, so I'm thinking about this is that thing where they go and they can watch you no matter where you're at or what you're doing, type deal, right? Mm -hmm. And they're trying to Pitch it? Is this yeah. the first? Is this the first contestant? Yeah, Seriously? this is the, yeah, this is the first contestant. Jesus, I mean, the weird thing is you can already do this on Google Maps. Like, yeah, I share my, I share my location with. Yep. yep. I, as old as I am, as old as I am, you know. I'll go on uh, Google and I'll Google something at, in a uh, Home Depot or something like that, like a new uh, air compressor or something like that. Okay. So then I go on Facebook the next day and I got ads in the corner of all the different um, air compressors that are on sale. And I'm like, really? And this guy's going to pinpoint somebody's already done this already. Hmm. It's just a different name. Well, that's what I was saying. I, so like, on Google Maps, I share my location with Miranda, like in case she needs to find me or the kids if we get in an accident or get like lost when we go to like camping or something. Like she yeah, yeah. she gets she gets pings on where we are. But like I have that directly set up between me and my wife, you know? Right. I don't want like the whole world. My, I don't want like my at. YouTube subscribers to know where I am. No, no. <laughs> no. The big boys know where you are no matter what. So it doesn't really matter. So this is kind of redundant in my eyes. But Pablo yeah. says it's kind of odd how some very successful people are dropouts. Uh, fun story. I am a dropout. Did you finish high school, Jimmy? I sure did. I didn't. I sure did. I did not. As uh, much I... as I stressed over it, but I did it. Jack says we need to know where you are. No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Um, 
but yeah, no, I, uh, I dude, I dropped out of high school and then I got my GED. I did get my GED. I'm not like completely stupid. Uh, and then I dropped out of college like four separate times from like four separate schools. <laughs> so, um, definitely not for everybody for sure. No. Miranda says she see me wear my cargo pants. There ain't nothing wrong with my cargo pants. I'll tell you what is what is impressive about these guys that like get up on stage is that they have like working tech. You know, like they're I mean they they have like a demo. It works. That's pretty cool. Even though I don't think it's a good idea for an app. Like you could, it, you could tell he's rehearsed his demo about nine thousand times. So. It's still cool that it it works though. You know. It Get looks your like hands Google, out of your pockets. It looks like a Google Maps overlay. It sure does look like Google Oh, Maps. look at that. That's crazy. Actually, it's kind of scaring me. Because if they're doing this, you know what the hell else is out there. You know what I mean? Oh you, don't, you don't need this. They got you anyway, so you really don't need this anyway. So I don't see any... Well, just again, my personal opinion. I don't see any worth in this because they already got you, no matter what you're doing. Anyways. Well, I don't think it's about the tech company collecting your your location data. I think it's about like your friends being able to see. But again, where you're you're at. Have, but, but you I'm have also, that now. You I'm have also, that now. Well, I know that, but I'm just you know, I'm just said like this is all it does. It's like right. it's like exclusively that, like as a social network. Yeah. I'm sorry, but these guys need to go home. That Jack, I would never vote for them. Uh uh. Jack says no GED. And uh Pablo says I dropped out in preschool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were the smart one. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you were the smart one. All right. So they've moved on to questions. Boo, get out so of the they, They're asking the, the viewer is asking about security. And that's a that's an automatic given. They should have an answer for that. Yep, and here he goes. Really, that's the first question anybody should ask anyway. So security. There you go. Okay, so they're saying if you don't want your real time location set up, you can just set your location. So like if I'm gonna be in Rochester on Sunday, I can just put Rochester and it'll just kind of show up in the middle of the city instead of exactly where you are this is redundant so why have it at all well it's i know i'm just telling you what they're saying yeah i know i know i know i'm just arguing the fact that i'm arguing with these people not you and i can't even hear them and i'm arguing with them well it's not their <laughs> fault dude it's their first tech startup no, okay no, it's fine no it's fine i'm just i'm passing judgment like we should i mean it took me in. it took me three youtube channels to find one that worked <laughs> <laughs> I want to call him up. Hey, where am I right now? Oh man, cringy, cringy. So he he just started answering the question, and then the moderator was like, "Please repeat the question." Oh. <laughs> he goes, he goes, he goes. Ah, good point. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh I'm man, this is. Hard. I'm mildly, I'm getting more entertained as it goes on. To be honest with you. I was bored there for a minute, but now oh. there's a lot of questions. I think they What'd do. She a five what are they asking? What are the questions? I don't know. I can't hear them. Hold on. Oh. Do people actually meet up? That was the question. Do people actually meet up? They haven't launched it to the public. So, which is a dumb question. Like, how the hell do they know? God, they, God, the software is in a closed beta, so some people can use it, but not a lot of people. <laughs> Dumb idea. This next person asked if they were going to uh, integrate with any other apps, like if they'd work together. Of course, that's who they're trying to sell to. <laughs> Did you see Pablo? Hey, love, why are you in the middle of the Pacific? I didn't know things were that bad. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Let 
Oh my God, this is like the world's longest question. <clears throat> I'd love to hear this guy and how he's going to stutter over himself with these answers. Is he stuttering? Is he confident? He's, he's he, he keeps forgetting to repeat the question back to the audience because the they the audience can't hear the question. So he keeps stopping himself over and over and over again so he could try to repeat the question. Yeah. He's they just yeah, asked okay. if, okay, if they would have an, they just asked if they could have an app and then they said yes. This guy's really nervous too. He's talking with his hands. Oh, give me that mic. Let me finish. He, the guy with the polo, like said something really technical. And then the they both got polos. The redhead guy the, said, uh, in other words, yes. <laughs> oh. Close beta. It's five. It's five dollars. You scan the QR code and then you can uh, sign up and <laughs> use their their location app. We should download it. I'm tempted. Uh, this this give me the heebie-jeebies, right? I'm now. tempted to download it. It's giving me the heebie-jeebies. Right. That's it. That's it for pinpoint. <sighs> Goodbye. Uh, it's pinpoint love. P i n p o i n t pinpoint. God, God, that's over with. All right, she's just making jokes. Campbell's looking pretty good so far, dude. <laughs> this guy's like, have you ever seen a t-shirt where you have to read it like a page of a book? <laughs> It is a good name, love. Jack says, hey, I'm not home. Go rob me. <laughs> good point. Good point. This is Harold from the Underground app. He's, he's a little nervous. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So he's saying uh, undiscovered artists are trying to use social media to get discovered, but social media is dominated by mainstream artists. So you can't compete. So is that true? I don't know. He's making the argument that people are having a hard time finding these undiscovered artists. So he's he's saying they ask they ask the artist a bunch of questions in order to generate like a profile for them that will make them easier to find on this app alone. It's basically it's like Facebook, but it's only for artists that are like really small. 
so that well, they don't you know so that they you don't know, have to compete with the with the bigger guys. Yeah, th- you know what? This makes more sense to me than the first one. I can. Yeah, tell you that I, much. I, I, I find fine. more interest in this than I did the first one for damn sure. This doesn't seem bad, but the artists can make posts. They can make uh, event notifications. So if they're doing like a small concert or a show somewhere, they can notify their fans. I appreciate the I appreciate the problem at the core of this one. It's you can't you know if you are like you know you play guitar at a coffee shop every Sunday, yeah, you know, and there's uh, you're, you're really you're good. good, yeah, you're but good. Yeah. I, like how are you supposed to compete with like what's on the radio? You know, exactly. so like having a separate yep. thing would be uh, you know, would be definitely helpful. Yep. He's talking about their pricing tiers. Director starting. You get access to like live shows and stuff. The first question I was asked would be, can I pay that monthly or are you going to take that automatic out until I stop it? (laughs) No. Sorry, I'm old. It's interesting. It it needs up. Oh, it's a demo. Here's a demo. So this is what it actually looks like, and these are actual artists that have actually posted on their feed. Those emojis are kind of rough. Yeah. Love fire. What else? Oh, he's playing it. Oh. He said, let's say you think that artist is dope. <laughs> oh, okay. That's called a dope token. You guys got to change that name. You can't. Okay. I'm starting to lose interest really fast. It was good in the beginning, but you know what? I'm fading here fast. It's a dope token. <clears throat> hey, Campbell apparently looking... they can apparently they can save up dope tokens to like get time in recording studios or something. <laughs> You're right, laser of love, a shark tank. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's, Alex it's, Campbell's got this one in the bag so it's, far. It's shark dude. Tank minus the production value. <laughs> yep. Yep. Alex Campbell's got this in the bag so The far. host said, who has questions and who's an artist? <laughs> oh, okay, here come the questions. So these are just newsletters, right? That's not something you're supposed to... Or you got to wait till the end of the this code, it just takes you to their, their website. Oh, okay. Not a way. I'm not pulling up my camera for that. They asked if they asked if this was live. They're going like to open mic nights to recruit people for their platform. <laughs> He's just talking about how they're recruiting. It's not a bad. It's not a bad pitch. I, I'm listening to it. It's it's decent. It's just like you can't name your tokens dope tokens. <laughs> That's bizarre, dude. They need to rethink that. 
he's talking about the live features, like the live video features and stuff. Uh, yeah, love, I guess, I guess that would be a good option for some of these people. Jack says, how many dope tokens do you need to get a blunt? <laughs> I like him. He's funny. I don't, I don't know, love. That's a good question. I wish we were there so we could ask. He has not gone into detail uh, to answer that kind of question. Right. And, and, and Laser of Love is right because, I mean... There's plenty of these out here. He's just, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not feeling this at all. So he's got far. some good, he's got some good ideas. I just think that the package is, <clears throat> it's just not, it's not cohesive. Yeah. And, but the other platforms already out there can automatically take his ideas and use it against them anyway. So what difference does it make? Right. Well, that's, that's fucking, that's tech, man. That's, that's the tech world. I think they're talking about like digital rights management. Be right back. All right. They can almost hear them asking the questions. They're asking what kind of artists make up the, the most artists on the platform. And the answer is obviously musicians. It's definitely an R&B scene, he's saying. Yeah, I I totally, uh, I, I see you, I hear you, love. They're just not. They're just not talking about that kind of stuff. Again, if you do want to listen in along with me, um, you there is a link in the description of the video as well. clarifying technical details about billing right now. Good job. Okay, he's done. Oh, thank God. Two down, three to go. <laughs> That's right. Campbell's odds are looking better. Who's She's next? saying... She's congratulating everyone for being around. Hey, look, it's oh, our yeah. guys. There we go. Let's get Alex and Charles. Woo! Go, Alex and Charles. They're playing Backstreet Boys. <laughs> <laughs> like Backstreet Boys. <laughs> Looks like Charles is going to give the pitch. Oh, they look good up there. I oh, they got want it. He's excited. I want it that Do a stretch. Way. Tell me why. They've they've never announced this company before this moment, uh, like to the public. They're talking about swag as a service, all the same things we talked about on the uh, on the podcast here. This is cool. They've got a lot of energy. You can tell. It's they yeah. they've got oh, they're including the audience, dude. They might not even need us. <laughs> so far they definitely feel like the most professional. What, why are they hanging why are their hands up? What are, what did they ask? They they said who needs swag? <laughs> Put 
Put your hand down if you ever got swag that's so bad you wish you just hadn't gotten it. <laughs> One guy's hand still. <laughs> oh, they never lived. <laughs> they're they're asking about pizza delivery now. Shouldn't buying swag be as simple as ordering a pizza? Oh, he's showing the lasers. Check it out. It's lasers, guys. Check it out. Yep, yep. We're talking about how much easier it is to order swag as a consumer than it is to order swag as a business. So if you don't know, Jimmy, they like basically their service would mean I click one button and pay a fee, right? Yeah. And then they build an entire Shopify store for me with one click that's filled with my stuff. Well, that's such a bad idea. Clothing, engraved stuff, right? Yep. Like, you yep. know, apparel, textiles. Yeah. Um, so that's that's kind of the core of like how this all works. We get into a lot more detail about it on the podcast uh, when I had these guys in. But yeah, they're they're calling it you know swag as a service basically, right? So instead of having to like manage all of that stuff yourself, like I have to manage my merch shop right now. Yeah, like I basically just pay them to do it, yeah. and they just give me a giant list of options, and I, I'm like, you know, I want these things, and I don't want these things, and then my store just appears with all my swag on it. Gotcha. <clears throat> That's not such a bad thing, is it? They're doing a really good job, like asking each other questions and then answering them. Yeah. He's saying this store is really great. You know, like they put a lot of work into it. This is their own store. But two products are showing out of stock. This That was Atlanta Tech Village's online merch shop. They just showed how it wasn't good enough. The people hosting the event. No shit. Ooh. They just pulled up their no, own no. website and said, and said, your merch shop sucks. <laughs> no kidding. That's crazy. Oh, boy. Hey, go big or stay home, right? Yeah, dude, they're doing it. Hey, frontline it. They just pointed out. They were like, this website's great. The pictures look awesome, but like half of your stuff is out of stock. You need swag as a service. That's what he said. They have a, a lot of infrastructure set up already, they're saying. Talking about how competitors are way, way, way too expensive. You have to keep paying them over and over. You, you don't just pay once, you pay for all of these different services. Uh, and and with Swassy, you would pay one time. I don't know what ARR is. I'm not that smart. This is a swag store that they populated with the Atlanta Tech Village. So they used their proprietary technology to generate that swag, that swag shop there at the end that looked much nicer and had all of the products in stock. I'll take one of those machines. Yeah, it's like a crazy garment printer. Charles talks about it in the podcast. That's awesome. Yeah, love, that's true. He's and that's, that's where they're focusing on is that. So you are correct. They're talking about they're talking about um 
like inventory management and how they know they'll have things in stock and how they know that, you know, they'll be able to pull off the uh, infrastructure and supply lines. He just got yelled at for not re repeating the, the question back. Look at Alex, dude. He's just up there like, oh, I'm so ripped. <laughs> He's yelling. Which has got to be hard on his part because um, what's his name? Charles. Charles. He It's more of his, so he knows more, but so he's trying to explain it, so it's got to be tough on Alex Campbell right now. He's doing it, though. Yeah. So yeah, I'm his bodyguard. He's just talking about how easy it is to get their stores online and stuff. Uh, I forgot. I didn't even hear the question. He said there's no like contracts. You don't have to lock into any kind of agreement in order to use their service. You can just turn it on and off whenever you want. Which is good. That's a that's a great feature. How do we handle spikes of orders over time? He says the answer is the back end. We spent a year building the back end, and uh, the technology behind it handles that essentially. He's gained the people's interest the most so far. They they have. Don't you think? So far, I mean, they're certainly the most professional. No, no, I'm looking at the people, not them, the people. Oh, the audience? They, they, yeah, they seem like they're keeping their interest the highest so far. I Honestly, I haven't been watching the, the audience. That's an interesting comment. I've not yep. been paying attention to the audience. Yep. It's both. I'm watching both, and they're still here. They're keeping busy. They're talking. They're saying they're keeping, and the people are paying attention to them. They're not doing like I was doing with the past two, like, Jesus, get this shit over with. Really? Come on, move on to the next. Love says they got him. They got says, him. Love says Charles in charge. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. No, I I right now they be my vote right now, just just out of you know, the outside guy looking in. Dude, they'd they're, be my at, vote right now based on their outfits. And the you can't go by that, dude. You gotta go by look at look at he's look how he responds to the people. You yeah. know, he's listening to the people. Those other idiots didn't give a shit. He's listening and he's explaining himself. Good for him. He's trying. Good for he's doing a great job because they're listening to him. Okay, really. Look at the everybody's head in the audience is straight ahead and listening to him, right? I mean, the, other the people we can see, right? Well, the other these guys in the front, they're all laughing, looking to the side on the other guys. I can see the difference, so I, I know. I, hey, dude, I believe you. Yeah, that's awesome. See, he's there. See, he's responding. He's asking. I wonder questions. how many people are actually watching this right now. 42. There's 42 actually watching this on the, the legit stream. We've got eight here with us now. Thanks for hanging out for this, guys. I I know this isn't the most exciting or relevant thing that uh, we've ever done on Laser Everything, but I still really think that it's important to support our, our community members. And uh, these two guys are, are really active, very uh, helpful, friendly community members, and they deserve our help. So I know it's not. I know it's not the the usual stuff, uh, and I know that there isn't a ton of value for you to gain out of today's uh, live stream. But I, I appreciate you being here for it. They did a great job. That was they awesome. They did an awesome job. Great job, guys. Yep. So we got time here. Mrs. Snotty Pants says, "Oh my God, Jimmy, you're such a hater." Here we go again. 
And there's the shirt. Now we got a gray shirt. Who's this guy? Yo. She's asking who has a doppelganger. Oh, my God. I don't know. I should have, like, stop the show to... I, 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 she just... Oh, she's, okay, now it's story time again. Why do we have to stop the show every five oh minutes God. for story oh time? Man, God. I don't want to hear from the audience. I want to hear from the presenters. This guy's I, shit is called Mr. Tomato. That's way more cool than whatever this lady's talking about. Oh, my God. Oh, God. This oh. lady's telling a story about gang members, too. See, love, love knows what I'm talking about. All right, the guy's trying to do his thing. Get out of the way. I know. Move. Please move. Go away. You're getting paid anyways. Go sit down. You're killing me. So let the guy talk. Exactly. Get out of the way. What's he talking about? The platform for restaurants. He is hey, Mr. Tomato. He just said, I'm Mr. Tomato. <laughs> he just called himself Mr. Tomato. Man, I'm getting He's hungry. Up. This You're is, looking this for is a place with food. This is not a good thing because I'm getting hungry. So, It's a food finding app? Oh, yeah. Perfect spot. Yeah. Good God. Oh, I'm just going to shut up. I mean, I, I, I'm trying to understand the core of what he's doing because right now it just sounds like Yelp. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. So my customers leave a restaurant has no intuition of returning. Intention. Return. What the Intention. hell has that got to do with it? I thought this is your driving down the road. This is a better app that tells you what's a good place to eat. Nah, I don't know yet. I don't think he's gotten to the point yet. Google has this over you, dude. You're too late. Kyle, you know what? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Automated training, smart checklist, schedule manager, analytics dashboard. This isn't for this isn't for consumers. This is a this is a program for restaurant management. So restaurant owners can use Mr. Tomato to train their employees, uh, set up a communication center so that employees can communicate better about what's going on in the restaurant. Yeah. It doesn't matter. People go to the McDonald's now and they do the kiosk. Okay. <laughs> What's the difference? Well, I, McDonald's, this isn't for McDonald's. This is for like high-end restaurants. I guess. We help, we help managers and restaurant owners run a more efficient kitchen. He just said. <laughs> He says that, that using confidence. Mr. He's, he's basically saying that using Mr. Tomato means that your business will have better customer service. <laughs> oh, there's tests. You can test your employees. Oh, God. I'd flunk on purpose just for spiteful reason. Good God. Hey, Campbell's looking good, dude. What is this? Four? We got one more, right? We got one more after this. Oh, one more. They got this beat. I dude, I'm not gonna lie. Like they got this, this beat. Is, this is this isn't bad. This one's actually pretty good. And it's really polished. He's got a polished, like finished product. Yeah, but the outcome doesn't mean crap to me or as a business. I wouldn't it's have. a good idea. It's restaurant management. It's management software. We use management software. I use management software to manage my team. It's just not for restaurants. It lets the employees clock in and out. It like lets me make you know tasks and to-do lists for them and, and stuff like that. It's called Connect Team, but it's for tech teams. This is a management app for a restaurant. Look, scheduling. He's saying the app, uh, you know, uses smart technology to change with the seasons based on the foods that are available and like what specials will be served so that people know that things are coming or going and keep the staff up to date on what, what's changing on the menu. 
<laughs> What's Sorry. wrong with you? You are Sorry. a bully. Miranda's Sorry. right. No, I'm not a bully. I'm just being bluntly honest. Come on, man. I'm rooting for Campbell, dude. Well, you can root for Campbell and am, recognize the I'm, fact that there's other good stuff. I'm being very honest. If this guy was better than Alex, I'd tell you right flat out. Are he you listening? Can you hear it? No, I don't have to. Oh, my God. You can't it. even hear it. You don't even I'm know what I'm listening saying. to you. That's what you're there for. You're telling <sighs> us. You're telling us. You're doing Look at the pricing. really good, too. How's your business doing? Oh, it's awesome. I I I'm I'd pay for Mr. Tomato. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? I'm sorry. I'm just being honest. Your mom dropped you on your head too many times, hey, dude. That's okay. It, it helped me throughout this world today, so I'm honest. <laughs> Miranda you says too? we fight like an old married couple. That's okay. That's why we get along well. That's something you two young kids have to learn. I'm old. I've been through this, so this is this is what makes it fun for me. So the we, more we the more we argue, the more fun it is. We know you're old, dude. You don't have to keep reminding us. Well, yeah. No, if I don't, you will. So I'm going to beat you to the punch. That's fair. Yeah, deal. Good. We we clean, dude. What question would you have for Mister Tomato if you had a question? <laughs> what would you ask him? <laughs> Go. Don't get me started. Okay, but you gotta. We can't. We don't know what the question is. What did the bananas? <laughs> the... <laughs> what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute you. It's not the first time. Go Miranda, ahead. Miranda says that me and her can get divorced so that you and me can get married. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good God! Oh. <laughs> now they're talking about security again. Oh my god, it just keeps getting better. Fires that get rid of the need of weekly meetings send as though it takes the personal relationship out of things, allowing an app to keep relationships. I mean, it's it's true. That's very true, love. Um, my excuse is that my employees are remote. <laughs> That's my excuse. Remote, yeah. Kyle's the closest employee and he lives in Connecticut. Ah. Voice is way out in Michigan, or I guess Amanda's the closest. Amanda's in New York City, but still. What's he talking about now? I don't know. This makes for a good pee break. He's talking about Mr. Tomato, <laughs> exactly. I'll be right back. Oh man gonna leave me alone with this guy oh. they're talking about data management now yeah, Jimmy definitely needs a sandwich and a nap. Jimmy always needs a sandwich and a nap. That man needs to walk around with a baby blanket and a Subway sub in his left and right hand 24-7. Then he might be happy. We'll talking about data management and security. Oh, delivery service. Hold on one second. Sorry, guys. It's time for the uh, the. Oh, yeah. he's still on. That's the sound right there. Oh, yeah, it's just you know doing tomato stuff. I should have took longer. <laughs> Next up, Mrs. Mustard. 
You're kidding me, right? No. <laughs> don't, <laughs> joking, dude. Don't, please don't tell me that because I'm leaving. <clears throat> you can't leave. We have to vote. The most I important know, part I is know, coming I up. Know. That's what we're waiting for. I'll have to go pee again, but just don't. You literally just sat back down. Go get I'm, your prostate checked. I'm. You missed the whole point. Have you just said Mr. Mrs. Mustard is next? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I mean, I hope you're kidding. I hope you're kidding, dude. If you need to pee again already, you need I to go get an to. exam. Yeah, missed the whole joke. That was the whole. I know the whole joke, joke that you're so bored and everybody sucks. I know. Not I got it. Bored. I'm not. Seriously. Alex Campbell and they got it fucking covered. Oop, I'm glad it. that you're confident, dude. Here. Mr. Tomatoes got me a little nervous. Oh, please. I'm telling you, dude. I you know, it was easy to joke. It's like everything else and in make the world. Fun of the other guys. Up. Now you just you just ruined it. He's gonna win now because you just jinxed I'm just it. trying to be realistic over here, man. Pinpoint was silly. The underground thing was okay, but rough and not put together very well. Uh, Alex and, and Char Charles did a great job. This dude has his shit together. I'm telling you, this is a, this is, he thought this product out. There's a vacuum in the market. It's polished and complete. And he just needs funding and a user base. This is like, this is like exactly who the Atlanta tech village is looking for. They want people like this, whether we think the name is stupid or not. And it is, <laughs> It has no bearing on the fact that this is done. This is done. He has a a front end that is polished and you know like a working demo, or at least that's the that's the the impression that he's given. He's done. He's leaving. And he says, watching you guys here and the live stream, uh, so now I can she's vote. Back again. Get out of here. They can accept votes from Australia. I think they can, Andy. I think they can. I think this is a worldwide event, so I think you'll be in good shape, man. Hang on, she's gonna come the out. The vote with is not open. She just time. said. The she's vote is not open out. yet. She's gonna come out with a green shirt this time. Now watch. All right, what do we got going? Oh, well, we got a football. I don't know. Let's see what this guy. He's the last dude, Four right? Four second football. Four huh? second football. Four. Uh oh. This is scaring me. Now she's rushing him. She's like, are you ready? Oh, may I get up that stage? Get your ass up that stage. Give me that mic. Go sit down. Four, Four second, second football. football. What is this? Okay, what is now? You got my interest. Yep. Here we go. This is my, This is scaring me now. This might be the proper contender right here. Joe Hamilton, founder. Average playtime is four seconds. Oh, dude, that red on the blue is rough. Should have went with white, dude. Average sack time, two and a half seconds. Watch the people's heads. Watch the audience's heads. You know, they said football. You know they got their attention. Oh, that was too much. Ooh. I can't. I can't read all that. I'm too fucking dyslexic to read this shit. Player, perform player performance enhancement tool. Okay, maybe we're safe here because yeah, this is this. It just got really complicated. I thought it was going to be like a fun game. I thought it was going to be like a game that you. So could this play. is not. So this is not for the individual. This is for. This is to help the coaches and shit on coaches and everything. I don't know I yet. Seen. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Player performance enhancement tool. He's not well, really gotten to it. The problem. Yeah, Andy says real poor color choice in this display. I agree, dude. I can't. The, that red is just way too dark. We're, it's a bunch of designers sitting around on a live stream watching these people's slideshows. Of course, we're going to see this is better. Like, I can deal with that. That red's still too dark, but the white text is way easier to be able to read. I think it's pre precision or it's. His presentation kind of sucks. Oh, okay, update, guys. Update, update. So um, I just got a link, which I'm going to add to the description momentarily. So you guys are going to want to refresh the page. Not yet, but in a minute. You're going to want to refresh the page. I have a link to vote. So we will be able to vote after this. There may be some sign-up included. So make sure that you get signed up early. 
so that we can get our votes in, okay? So here we go. I'm dropping it right under the uh, YouTube link to the live event. Uh, I'm going to label it vote now. Okay, and I'm going to save. Let me just check the video feed here, make sure that it's there. Oh, nope, wrong one. I dumped it to the wrong video. Hold on, hold on. I was on the podcast. Edit, do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. This one, vote now and the link. Okay, so there we go, guys. The link is in there. Go ahead and refresh the live stream and uh, check out. Let's see what we have to do in order to vote here. Well, four second football is talking about football stuff. I don't understand. Uh, that was a direct link, it looks like. Uh, Atlanta, Startup Village number 87, live interaction. We can switch the event. There's a dark mode. Okay, great. So uh, there's no current active polls. So the, the polls will be up, uh, I'm assuming, shortly. But it looks like we are good. It looks like we're good to vote without any kind of weird sign-up or anything like that. So we do have the link down there in the video description at this point. Nope, they're doing a demo. All right, let's see what this is all about because I don't, I honestly don't even understand what this bitch is still. Jimmy, what are you doing? You cut yourself from the stream. I didn't do anything. You've been you've been off stream for like five minutes. Uh, I did nothing. Nope, he connected a device. Referee sound, air horn. It's some kind of training app, dude. I don't know what this is. Alex, you're going to need to help me find it because I don't have that screen. All I have is our OBS and oh, I'll just shoot you the link. I'll shoot you the link, man. All right, thank you. I'm going to send it to you on Slack. Okay, thank you. There you go. Oh man, he just made a horrible, loud air air horn sound. Who did? The guy presenting. Oh. All right, I've got a. People are going to be so mad at me today because I've pinged them like three times about this, but I have an at everyone ready to go in the announcements channel with the link. As soon as we see that go live, the vote go live, I'm going to I'm going to drop that. So we're just going to keep an eye over here. I'm just reloading. I'm waiting for that poll to go live. Yeah, because all I got is some. I don't even know what the hell that was. It was asked questions. It wasn't about. I know. I know. I know. Did you see Q and A at the top and polls? Q and A and polls on the link I sent you at the top. At the top, it's just the link for live polls. Yeah, that's where we want to be. There are no active polls at the moment because it's not ready to start voting. Gotcha. I'll just keep it up here over just here. Keep it up there. I'll tell you when to reload it. I don't know if this is hardware or software. I honestly can't tell. I wasn't listening well enough. I thought it was going to be like a video game. Love, I just ate my sandwich. <laughs> Where are you seeing that? Uh, 823. Jimmy needs a sandwich and a nap. Oh, yeah, it was old. All right. Oh, yeah. I don't know, dude. I'm I I think they're going for it. They're going to win. Yeah, I'm, I hope I'm, so, dude. I'm, pretty I'm, I'm, I'm not worried about four second football. I'm still pretty worried about Mister Tomato. Uh, I'm not. Sorry, you know more about this than I do, but I'm old and I'm I don't know. But I still got a good vibe that that uh. They got it covered. They they kept the people's uh, the audience's uh, 
um, interest a lot more and very responsive, very more mature and very more professional than what these guys are, even Mr. Tomato. Now I'm curious. It's killing me. Hurry up. This is just this is like a Fitbit. He's just advertising a Fitbit. Don't worry, Jack. We're gonna let everybody know the second the voting opens. All right, I'm still live. I'm just nervous. They got it, dude. I'm telling you, they got it. Trust Jimmy's instincts. He needs to give it up. The question yeah, section at, kills me, dude. Yeah, look at the people. Look, they're looking at each other like, dude, man, hurry up. Be quiet. They might be like, this is the one. No, no, no. No, it's not. No, no, no. You got to read the people's heads, man. I can't read the back of a head. Yeah, well, just, I'll show you how. Listen. Look at the See, they're all not paying attention. They're all talking to once to each other rather than actually listening Andy <laughs> wants to know if you can get all the crickets to vote hey they're on my side plain and simple they're on my side so yeah they're going to listen to me no matter what so they'll definitely win them We're talking about patents. Oh, a chip, a microchip goes into the football. <laughs> it just keeps getting better. <laughs> it just keeps getting better. You just better. said something about I'm putting sorry. a microchip in a football. I'm sorry. You know, this is scaring me, though. It's a smart football. You know what? If this guy wins, it's scaring me. He's gone the longest so far, I think. No, dude. I, no, I think know. the worst one was uh was um the uh the underground one that music one that's those questions went on and on and on and on and on they only I get five know. minutes the, the, the reality is they all only get five minutes they get five minutes to pitch and they get five minutes of questions so it's they're all the same length it's just which one feels the longest <laughs> well this one's got it hanging right here oh good heavens he had me in the beginning. He had a nice logo. Yeah, I was digging out. That's I said. I go, oh boy, we might be in trouble here. I know. I remember. In two minutes, and it was over with. You're done. Go sit down. I remember. And we got eight more minutes of this. Up. Oh, okay. Time's up. Thank God. Unplug your computer. Get out of there. Oh, and here she comes again. We got yep. a green T-shirt for you. No, no more T-shirts. Up. Oh, they're opening the poll. Okay, okay, I think we can vote. I think that's it. Refresh? Uh, yep, I'm going to refresh. Bingo. Right, there it is. Swag. There it is. is. Swaggy. Swaggy. What is Sag. Swaggy? Swag is set. 57. Oh, 50. 20%. 20. 20. 47. 53. I can't believe they wrote Swaggy. Swag. What is what? <laughs> Whatever. 52%. 52 what is Swaggy? They're going to win. Oh, like, let's go, I baby. I told you, 50, 45, 9, 19, 60, 39, blah, blah, blah. Look at 47. Oh, oh, I man. told you. I told you. That's unreal. I'm not even going to bother I, posting at this point. I, I this told you. So fast. I told you 50%. Oh, man. 50% for I know, six. dude. I've seen it. I'm seeing it. It would, take you, a, it would take a huge see? leap. Oh, poor pinpoint, dude. Really I can't pleased. believe Mr. Tomato is not doing better. I'm kind of concerned about I how don't... how low that is on the list. Even four percent. Oh, uh, oh no, yeah, no, dude. No. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. No, 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 no. Hold on. Shh, shh, shh. Let me listen. Oh shit! Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, I told you. Here it comes. Here it comes. Look there. Go back down. Nope. Stop. 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 That's too close. I don't like it. It's too close. I, I told you. It's, it's in the link to in the description, honey. Oh my God, Miranda's asking where the link is. It's in the description. Thirty-eight twenty-five. Four second football is starting to catch up. That's twenty-four. Okay, go sit down. Go ahead. Thirty-nine. We're back up to forty percent. Oh, oh, she's watching it. Okay, okay. 
Look at that. 38. Come on, it's baby. It's not Swaggy. Oh, my God. That's not the name of the company. Who up, cares? Boys? It's working. They're winning. Whatever. They put Swaggy, Kyle. They put in the poll. They put Swaggy. <laughs> Don't even know how to spell our boys' company. Oh, Kyle, what's up, buddy? Aren't you going to let them oh, back on the stage? Oh, my God. Come on. Come on. How long do we got? How long does it take? They got swag. They're giving out swag. No, they're not. They're playing Dancing Queen. How long How long does the poll last? Alex and Charles are playing Dancing Queen and giving everybody swazzy sag. That's funny. Look. <laughs> Oh, man. Dude, I was nervous for a second. I was getting nervous about four seconds. That's football. it, right? That's it. Oh, there he goes. That's it, right? They're just, no, they're just making more jokes. So the poll's over, right? They win, right? Now they're just listing towns in Georgia. Oh, they won, dude. Oh my God. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. What? Yeah. Yeah. They won. That's what I was asking. They won. <laughs> out, of, out of 95 votes, they have 40%. Yeah. yeah I the next closest you. is 24%. Yeah. Well, hopefully we uh, so they're, hopefully we help make a dent in that. Yeah, they're they're at least fifteen votes ahead or more nice. above the next closest. We person, had so. we had eight Woo! to ten watching tonight. And that's it. There we go. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I that was told great. You. That's sweet. So. Uh, Man, that's uh that's so exciting for them guys. Thank you so much for uh for coming out and voting for them today. Uh that just I, I it means a lot to me that, that the guys that were able to come out uh and, and participate in this uh, actually did so. Um Kyle's here now. What's up, Kyle? What up, what up? What's up, buddy? Love says hi. I'm just uh sweating my butt off. Hey, love. Hello. Hello, love. Jack and oh, wow. We got, we got, we got our usuals out. Nice. Yep. 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 We got, uh, we got the, the, the reliables here. Um, yes. Yeah. So I, you know, we, we put that podcast up earlier. Uh, hopefully people caught the stream. The stream that was going on their YouTube page had about 45 people watching I, i'd like to think that some of those were our guys um but i don't know how many viewers they usually get while they're live and uh and we had we had like a solid like 8 to 12 uh or or 9 to 15 here uh tonight so uh definitely as far as those kind of voting numbers go you said there were a little less than 100 votes is that right there was 95 votes cast according to the page I saw, mm -hmm. and we had 40% of them in favor of Swazzy or yeah. Swaggy as, as it were. Swaggy, dude. Um, which means, and the next closest person was at, I think it said 24%. Mm -hmm. So we were 16% out of 95 people. So we were roughly 14 votes ahead or something like that. Nice. So that we, of we the next could have, closest. we could have literally, uh, made the difference tonight then we we took it without from, us it could have been a tiebreaker it could have been a tie situation that, yeah. that's all right nice that. so we made a difference so we did what we came out here to do today we came out here to make yeah. a difference and we literally were the difference between a very very close tie uh if not a loss uh and a comfortable lead <laughs> yep nice so nice. that's eight people you said that we had vote we, well we have eight now we have eight live right now with us okay. uh Plus the three of us. And then when the voting was going on, we actually had a few more. We were up to like 12. 
So, uh, if we we, had, so if we weren't there, what would be the for, Throughout the stream, we've had 122 people in and out. Really? Wow. Holy crap. Yep. That's awesome. A lot. It's a lot. Uh, that's, on our, awesome. that's our stream. So, yeah, that's yeah. our stream. That's awesome. So the, the, fam, the fam got our back, it looks like. Yeah, good, good, good. Well, that's chill. That's cool. A lot of people, a lot of people won't see this until tomorrow, but hopefully I, it was, dude, it was a, it was a rush to get that out today. Cause I honestly, Alex, Charles, I'm so sorry. I completely, forgot, completely forgot to post that this morning. So I noticed like around noon and I was like, oh shit, that's today. Uh, so I got the podcast episode up as early as I could. Hopefully when the finals are coming up, um, we'll have a little more notice. Things will be uh, a little calmer because you guys won't be actively moving Alex from Canada to Georgia. So um, hopefully things will go a little smoother for the finals and we can get a little bit of a bigger audience uh, built up. I'll post. We, we can do the commentary again. That was a lot of fun, Jimmy. A lot of fun oh, doing yeah. that. That's and, awesome. uh, and we'll put that stream up like a week in advance uh, to get to get people amped for it. Uh, yep. But we did Heck it. Yeah. We did it. Alex and uh, Alex and Charles won. They are now going to get, I think it's a, a year in this office at the Atlanta Tech Village. So they get the office uh, and they get like the parking spaces and it's like everything is included for a year. They get to like work at this incubator and work on their business. Um, and then again, next year. So like a year from now, there will be the finals where like I think all the finals are in January, they said. Are, is it January? I thought they said it was January. I don't remember. I don't remember. But uh, later. Either way. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll update you guys. Don't worry. Uh, there will be finals. And then that'll be like that million dollar grand prize. So they're one step closer now. Uh, they're in the game. We just got our boys in the game. So um, that's really cool. And uh, we will absolutely continue to update you uh, here on Laser Everything as to their progress. And um, and keep you guys informed on how they're doing. I'm sure Alex and Charles are going to be back on really soon. Um, it, it's cool seeing how community members are kind of like working together. And yeah, we're, we get to watch their story unfold. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. What do they call this now? Incubator now? Incubator. Yeah, it's a tech incubator. So back in the day, it was a think tank, right? It's the same deal or? Think tank is more like. They're not the same, but I can't explain why. All right. Just asking because I'm old and they're back in the day. It was similar for the same reasons why they're different. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, shit, guys. That's all I got. That's all I got for tonight. Uh, you've given me 90 minutes of your time tonight, and uh, I'm, I'm super grateful for it. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with us on this live stream. Um, coming down off the adrenaline rush now and i'm <laughs> starting to feel tired um thank you everybody for showing up and leaving comments that makes it fun and exciting yeah. and thank yeah. you very much yeah and uh kyle glad yeah, you bro. made it glad you made it yeah. bro Did you, were you here for the vote again. were you here for the vote i got my vote in like two minutes before they closed it nice nice good yep. shit good shit i told you man I you told did. You. you told you told me, dude. I was worried about Mr. Tomato. Apparently, Mr. Tomato nah. was not a threat. I no, thought that he had the most. I thought that he had the Mr. most. Mr. Tomato polished. had the second least. I know, but he had yeah. the most polished yeah. and complete product. That's that's your way of thinking. See, I'm old school, and I got a. But I was worried about your opinion because you're new school, and sometimes the old school and new school clash. And then I get really upset and I'd hang up and walk away because I know I'm right. But and I was right though. I'll tell you they what I didn't expect. What I didn't expect was that four second football thing. Clearly, I wasn't paying attention because obviously he must have had a good idea because he got a huge chunk. That was of who vote. was in second. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I was bored out of my mind. I couldn't even listen to it. Yeah, but I, in the while I wasn't I saw those charts and that red Go text ahead, on the blue background, and I wanted to throw myself in a trash compactor. Yeah, but, yeah, but you see, he focuses on that part, but where I focus more on the idea. When he something said football, and I said, "Oh, remember I said that? I said, oh boy, we're in trouble." Mm. And I said, oh, and then he just two minutes into it, he just kind of flunked us. Ah, we're good, we're yeah. good. But then I worry about, yeah. you know, where my opinion should be right, and it's not, which we all do. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Society's changed, so, so yeah. But that's great, though. 
Yeah. Well, I couldn't make it to most of the live stream. I uh, I was listening in, so. Sorry, I was we'll able get, to follow uh, with your we'll commentary, to... on Mr. Tomato, and that did sound promising. I was a little worried. Yeah. We'll uh, um, we'll get you for the finals. We'll get you for the finals. Yeah. All right, boys and girls. Well, I'm gonna call it here. Uh, I'm gonna get these uh, these kitties into bed. I'm sure that uh, I'm sure that my wife would appreciate a hand with that. And um, we did it. So, congrats again, uh, Alex, Charles. When you watch this, if you watch this, uh, you know, thanks for being a part of the community. We appreciate you guys. We're here for you. We'll see you for the finals. Everybody that was here on the live stream. Thank you guys so much for spending the last 90 minutes listening to me and Jimmy make fun of people and uh, voting for these guys. They really, really deserve it. And uh, we've got lots of juicy content on the way for you. If you want to join the LMA, that's where Alex and Charles met. That's where all of this spawned from. You can find out more over at masters.lasereverything.net. Go check out the new merch. Uh, go check out our new downloads page, our new links section on the website. We've got lots of cool stuff over there at lasereverything.net. And I, I think that's it. Uh, I'm just going to I'm just gonna wrap. We've been going for a long time, but I really appreciate everybody coming out and voting today. It, it warms my heart to know uh, that, that you guys took the time to, to help out some of your fellow creators. So um, thank you again one last time. Uh, and, and thanks to you guys for kicking it with me for a little bit. I appreciate you too. Good night, everybody. Have a good one, and we'll uh, we'll see you in the next one. Gonna stay on after. <laughs> You're gonna stay on after. I'm going to bed. <laughs>